Hi everyone, my name is Daniel. I currently work as a lead data analyst here in the United Kingdom. And the purpose of this video is to share with you an overview of what the job responsibility of a data analyst looks like, what we do on a daily basis, basically what a day in the life of a data analyst looks like, and also give an idea of the skills that we, you know, that would give you competitive advantage if you're looking at getting into data analytics or you're looking at transitioning into data analytics and also a um, couple of tools you need to get yourself familiar with if going into data analytics is something that you've always wanted to do basically so this video is just to talk you through what my day looks like um, as a data analyst now just as you can see i'm working from the office today um, this doesn't really happen often um, depending on the organization you're working with and work you know what's the um, work pattern looks like basically so different organizations have like different you know work um, arrangements so the first we're going to talk about on this video is what does the work arrangement looks like for data analyst now most organizations operate on an hybrid setting while some operate on a fully on-site settings why if you operate fully remotely now my organization basically we work um, on an hybrid setting so um, at the moment we only go to the office once every month um, for monthly meetings so most um, of the times during the course of the month we work fully remotely so that's not the same for every organization some organization have different settings um, we are used to work as a senior data analyst um, the arrangements was quite different so we were supposed to be in the office um, every other week which is like once every two weeks um, which is total of two times every uh, every month um, like I said every organization with different pattern um, the place I worked for with um, previously required to be in the office twice every week so that's roughly about eight times every month, basically. So different organizations with different settings. So if you're looking at going to data analytics, you need to have a good understanding if the work arrangement is something that is quite important to you. So you need to have a good understanding of what the work arrangement um, looks like, how you know the work pattern um, looks like for data analysts within that organization or within that team, as the case may be. Now the second thing is having a good knowledge of the skill set required to work as a data analyst. Now, there are so many tools that you probably need to get familiar with. However, there are a couple of important tools that you want to get yourself up to speed with, basically. Now, I've been working as a data analyst for close to about three years now here in the United Kingdom, and I've worked across different organizations. I've had exposures to different, you know, data analytics tools. And these are like the top tools I think you want to get very much familiar with. The first one is Advanced Excel. Now, uh, Microsoft Excel is non-negotiably one of the most important data analytics tools. However, um, even most organizations, when you go for interviews, one of the tools they get to test you on is definitely um, Advanced Excel. They get to test you on things like the use of VLOOKUP, how to make use of pivot tables and pivot charts, you know, how to make use of VBAs and macros to avoid repetitive tasks, and just to mention a few. So understanding how to use Excel uh, in an advanced way is one important thing you want to get yourself up to speed with. The second thing is to know how to run SQL queries. Now, writing SQL codes is also arguably one of the most important skill sets you need to have if you're looking at getting into data analytics. Majority of those who go into data analytics um, get, you know, um, tested on their SQL skills, skills um, during the whole interview process. So just tells how important SQL um, could be. Now, learning SQL can be a little bit challenging, especially for those who are coming into the data analytics space for the first time. However, with the right support, with the right structure, you definitely will be able to get yourself up to speed learning, starting from the data definition language, moving down to um, the data manipulation language, and just to mention a few. Now, this is what the day looks like um, in my life as a data analyst. Now, before I go into that, I also need to mention that you need to get yourself up to speed with the use of Power BI or Tableau. Now, you can learn both. Um, in my opinion, I think if you learn Power BI, you will be able to use Tableau, but it depends on how um, you want to go about learning your data visualization. But obviously, I would recommend you learn Power BI uh, because most organizations are beginning to move more or lean more towards um, Power BI. Now, and that skill you also want to look out for is having a good understanding of Google Analytics, especially if you're looking at working with an organization that make use of, um, you know, that likes to track activities on their website and they've got lots of data within the Google Analytics 
workspace so one of the tools you want to get familiar with is called local studio and like i said it depends on the organization and some organizations don't use don't really use data from um, the website for example if you want to work within the nhs nhs doesn't really track you know um, activities on their website for you know um, any insights However, for example, the organization I work with right now, um, we do lots of tracking or you know activities on our website to see what part of UK are we getting lots of tracks from, from and you know just kind of help with um, comms or you know promotion activities. So because we do lots of advertisement for customers to have an idea of the services and the product um, that we do render. Now back to um, you know the interesting part about this video, uh, what a day looks like for me as a data analyst. And uh, like I said earlier, I work mostly remotely, but there are situations whereby I get to work from the office, which a day like this is an example. And what a day looks like basically is, of course, I get to the office, um, you know, drive down to um, the parking space and uh, depending on how you want to work, um, I work eight hours a day. So sometimes I can choose to work from seven to three. Sometimes I choose to work from eight to four, sometimes nine to five, depending on how um, you know I planned the day or how my plans for the day actually looks like. So the first thing is obviously I drive down to um, the office space, um, park at the parking um, spot. Then when I get into the office, I probably resume, let's say around 8 a.m. in the morning and I need to also mention this that um, every day doesn't look exactly the same some days you know go in a particular way some days goes in a different way so it depends on how the business environment is at that time that often time influences the way we work basically but I'm just going to give you like an overview of what a you know a regular day looks like for me as a data analyst working here in the United Kingdom so when I get to the office around 8 a.m. of course I get settled I get to look at a couple of my emails that probably dropped um, yesterday when I locked off um, catch up on emails, respond to a um, couple of questions that came in via Microsoft Teams, basically do a little of catch up between um, 8 to like 8.45 nine o'clock ish um, after doing all of the catch up you know making sure that i've got an idea of things that came in last night before um, the start of the day today the next thing i do is to um, try as much as possible to um, have a list of my to do's for the day um, and then to do's can run across things like responding to ad hoc requests um, pulling data for whatever reason um, trying to run ETL pipelines that probably failed to run the previous day um, things like working on long-term projects that have been outstanding as I'm making this video now I've got about five different long-term projects that are still outstanding I wouldn't say outstanding they're probably ongoing that I need to touch base on you know um, put in a couple of you know logic behind the data set and all of that and you could have you know situation whereby you probably have to run um, ETL pipelines um, whether a new one or maintain an existing one so that's what I do between the hour of 9 a.m. to roughly about 11 a.m. ish and you know in between those time you could have meetings scheduled you could have a couple of meetings scheduled with stakeholders which obviously you have to get yourself um, in those meetings and take notes so sometimes um, Writing, making the to-do list and starting work can probably take between nine o'clock to like twelve noon. Uh, it all depends. It all depends on how much meeting I've got in between from nine a.m. to twelve noon. Now, obviously, by twelve noon, I go for my lunch break. Um, I could probably just take some snack or walk down to Greg's to have coffee or whatever. Basically, get my lunch done. Then by twelve thirty, I'm back. Uh, most of the meetings are always. The, between the early hours in the morning and also close to after lunch time um, so most times between 12 30 to about two o'clock i'm on meetings um you know um sending emails to stakeholders to share my thoughts about a couple of projects that we've got ongoing and also things i think we might want to do differently i mean all of those interesting stuff uh, basically jump on calls um share um like a draft of the dashboard a stakeholder is interested in um you know put in certain logic behind the data sets and explain some of the things that could be done differently on the data set basically and also things that will probably might need a bit more time to get added to the report and you know a whole lot of um, stuff like that so it's mostly meetings between the hour of 12 30 to like two o'clock then from two o'clock to four o'clock that's where i get you know to get myself into work um, i hardly get loads of meeting between two to four o'clock so i spend my time you know working on dashboards i'm um, cleaning data sets um 
you know um doing loads of you know um etl process uh, ensuring that the data match the requirement of the stakeholders so basically i personally spend between the hour of 2 p.m to 4 p.m dig you know digging into the data sets that i need to work on i'm um, getting some of the requests that i've got from stakeholders both internal and external stakeholders i'm um, all sorted so that's like a quick overview of what a day looks like for me and like i said earlier um every day don't look exactly the same some days you're very busy some days you're not so busy with meetings and you have enough time to kind of play around with data sets now back to what i was saying earlier about the tools you need to get yourself familiar with i've mentioned quite a number of tools that can help you land yourself a data analyst role however on the job there might be a need for you to upskill um, you might probably need to learn things like python how to make use of microsoft fabric in order to help you you know move up the rank so if you want to get a job as a gene analyst as a data analyst those first um, four tools i mentioned are absolutely enough but however if you're looking at going up the rank um i've you know had two promotions since i got into data analytics about three years ago and getting you know help uh, getting up the rank uh, one of the things that's really helped me personally was upskilling learning the tools that are of high demand on my team and aside from technical skills learning or upskilling and all of that you know taking up leadership role being responsible for tasks um owning projects is one of the ways i've been able to prove my leadership experience or my leadership capability which has obviously helped me you know gain promotions and move up um the rank on the team so yeah that's basically what a day looks like for me as a data analyst and for those who don't know um i also you know work as an edu tech entrepreneur i've got a training program that runs um throughout the entire year where we get to train people who have zero knowledge in data analytics and help them build capacity in data you know um, data skills and we've got lots of people who have joined the training program and have been able to land themselves data analytics role now these are examples of you know different individuals who were on the training and have been able to get themselves into um, data analytics now on the training we run the six weeks intensive training and where we get to help you build capacity on the use of advanced excel um, sql and power bi because these are the three most important tools you need to land yourself a data analyst job here in the united kingdom and we've got a training happening um, starting from the 20 um starting from the 13th of september 2025 and we've got another cohort starting um on the 25th of october 2025 so if you have zero knowledge of data and you need some help in building that technical skills all you need to do is to send an email to info at techdriveuk.com or send a whatsapp message to the number you're saying on your screen so you get as much support to getting you the right technical skills to transition into um, data analytics now outside from the technical bits that we get to you know expose you to during the course of the training we also help you work on building projects that you get to use to create your portfolio towards the end of the training and you also get help with you know having some level of uk experience on your cv we help you build your cv we completely revamp your cv for you to give you competitive advantage when you start pushing an application and most importantly part of the things that come to the training is getting help with interview preps i've heard and i've seen people who are trying to get into data but they struggle to passing interviews we also help you prep for your first interview after um, the training so if this is something you'd like to know more about don't hesitate to send an email to um, info at techdriveuk.com or drop a whatsapp message on um, to the number displayed on your screen right now so if you currently work as a data analyst in the uk can you share in the comment section what the day looks like for you and if you have any question or any concerns at all drop those questions in the comment section I hope you find this video informative. If you do, click on the like button. And if you're coming across my channel for the first time, do well to hit on the subscribe button to join the amazing growing family. And my returning subscribers, thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. So this will be the end of the video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.